Part two. Here we go. Last time we checked, somebody turned off the light right when we picked up the crucifix, and was not a big fan of that. All right, there is another way out. So we've we been here before. <laughs> we clearly have. <laughs> it's like my calling card. I just leave tissue boxes around. Part one, we found out that there's secret passages around the house, and we need to find where the other ones are. Do we have anything to tell us where the other ones are? Oh yeah, here we go. This is what we want. Upstairs, hall, foyer, and the library. Oh, I called it a foyer. Not supposed to do that. So we went through the library into the parents' bedroom. There's one across from Sam's room. I feel like they're double counting the library. But, let's go to the front of the house. Man, I wish I could run. I feel like I would probably be doing a lot more running than this girl's doing, considering what's happened so far in this house. She hasn't even tried to call anybody either. She's not at all concerned about her, these people that are all missing. But you know, hey, inconsiderate college age. This is what they do. So, we're apparently looking for a panel around here, I guess. Am I just supposed to needle in a haystack this thing? They're not gonna tell me that uh, the panel's here or there. Just have to kind of guess. I like that we just left this whole corner. Ignored the whole thing last time. Number one in what? Oh, one of my trophies? What am I good at? Oh, I'm really good at running, apparently. That's funny, because I can't run. I feel like I don't deserve this. I forgot how to drop things. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> I got it. We're alright. We're gonna have to go back in that closet, because... I don't even remember what side of the room it was supposed to be on. Just knew that it was in there somewhere. I would have to give the mom some credit in this scenario, because this place is well dusted. For a huge house... Alright... The library, upstairs hall, and the foyer. So it's to the left. That's next to the bathroom. Is it? Oh, it's in the bathroom, it looks like. No, the bathroom is up in the front, actually, so... Oh, crap. I wish I could take this map with me. Why, why would I come back to it? Like, I'd ah, just leave it on the wall. We'll come back to it later. So that's right near the the parents picture with the family and then there's the desk where I thought it was funny to throw the pencil behind it because I'm an annoying child uh, it should be right next to that desk and if you need a pencil you know where to find one while we're at it uh, why am I going upstairs <laughs> I just I say things just to throw you off I <laughs> see element of surprise you know keep you entertained it looks like that passageway should be right around... Oh! Oh, oh! What we got here? Put that on the ground. Private, do not read. Uh, if you know anything about me thus far, I'm gonna read that. What? What are you trying to tell me, Sam? Oh. Alright. Alright, we're gonna give this a quick thumb through, but we're not actually reading this. She's still on about that Captain Allegra. You beat a dead horse too much, Sam. And people get upset with you for beating a dead horse. It's apparently frowned upon. Uh, PETA gets involved. I, I don't know. That is a weird saying. Was that something that happened a lot back in the day? Like People just beat up horses all the time? But you had to know that there's a clear and exact spot to stop beating up the horse? Alright, cross from Sam's room. Man, this is getting easy. Okay, don't really want to play with this guy. That would also be a sad sight to see somebody playing with a Ouija board by themselves, because it wouldn't do anything. There's somebody there to trick them. Ah, oh, we found the other half. She thought she was so smart. Is this her favorite pen? She's never going to find that. One, hello. Hello. Oh, this is... Okay. He wants to come bar hopping. 
Oscar wants to go bar hopping. Uh, might be a little hard, being that Oscar's dead, but I, I really feel like we should invite him along. How do we not go in Sam's closet? Kind of ashamed. More about this Captain Allegra. <laughs> what if there's some kind of hint that I'm supposed to be picking up inside the Captain Allegra story? Yeah, see, this is this is Sam's major problem. We're gonna put this over here just so that she knows. She needs to, she needs to take a look at this. Why am I <laughs> forgetting what the drop button is? Okay, now that we've saved Sam's mortal soul, why is it a mortal soul? Wouldn't it be an immortal soul? What kind of parents are just letting her leave signs up like that all all over the place? <laughs> I just see little hints of places that I've been, like this tape laying on the floor. <laughs> it's like I've I've just been breadcrumbing my way through the house, so I know exactly what I have and have not explored. So there's three hidden compartments. Is this a hidden compartment? Or is there still one in the library? There's still one in the library, yeah. This is like a a walk between we're gonna pretend like that's a common phrase that people use. It's in the old walk between, you know? Uh, more of our dad's book. He's obsessed with that guy. Uh, dad! Sam, you suffer through this problem that a lot of young people have where they think that they have to hide everything, and they think that they need all this privacy, when in all reality, nobody really cares. <laughs> At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. Creep. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. That'd be really sad news. I'm sorry, but your sister exploded. <laughs> like a can of soda. <laughs> can I? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> come on. Alright, we gotta take this with us. There's more than one toilet in this house. No, listen, this is gonna be worth it. We totally need to do this. Ah, oh, well played game. You're telling me all the toilets in this house are closed, huh? But they flush. You went through all the trouble of making it flush, and yet, I can't put a toothbrush in it. Besides the attic, is there anything that we haven't done or gone through? Special, adorable, merry, affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, and admirable. Notice how, um, the H, she didn't go for humble. Oh, man. Do we have a combination for Sam? I don't think we do. Oh, what, what do we have here? Is it 0501? Wow. All that to say, uh, the same way that you opened every single locker in the entire world, Ryan. But I just realized I'm not even opening a locker. Well, I am, but not that kind of locker. Oh, Samantha. I am ashamed of you. Cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. <laughs> Tell half the story. What does carbon monoxide do? Oh, she stole this shirt. What a thief. Hey, how did I not see that? Lonnie came over today. Everything was... This is Lonnie. 
Kiss your different. Wife. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. She was sitting right there. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Ah, Lonnie, very good. Do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> I'm starting to think. Stick with me here. I know it's a wild theory. I'm starting to think that maybe they're not just friends. Open! No? Basement? <gasps> I didn't even think about this house having a basement. I don't think we've seen a basement, have we? Where would the basement even be? Oh, I bet this is the basement. Alright. No? Are you sure? Oh, we have a map. Duh. To basement. By the music room. Should we take just this wall panel with us? I'm gonna name it. This is my wall panel. His name's Plank. It's my best friend. Here we go. Alright, Plank. Have a good life. You've been a great friend. I gotta have both hands available in case I need to fight a demon down here. Oh, I should have brought Plank down here. I could have used him as a weapon. As I use most of my friends. <laughs> oh, yes. Again with the unopened sodas. Cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the flavorful potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny. How impossible it is for you, for your dad, not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very cordially yours, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. A fancy man, quite. I read today a little bit of information for you. Apparently, it is a common lie that we all believe that the Monopoly man had a monocle. He actually doesn't, according to what I read. I haven't done any research to back it up yet, but that's what I read. Hmm. Do you think it might stand for Sam and Lonnie? It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know... So you could say we're dating, but it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. I have one too. All right. What's mine say? Kind, amazing, intelligent, talented, lighthearted, important, and nice. In my head, I don't know why, but when I saw the L and the dash, I automatically assumed that it said left-handed. <laughs> I was like, prank about it, Katie. First. When you see a first place ribbon without an item attached to it, it's a lot less impressive. Oh man, that reminds me of the movie Home Alone. Examine scrap. Aw, oh, they're gonna do the whole best friends thing. What? Well, Sam should really keep her stuff in one place. I mean, it's just strewn about the entire house. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. <laughs> is this the best you can do? For the father's love and encouragement. Man, our grandpa's kind of a jerk. You like how I did that? I want my dad to know that I think he's first place. Right? See? It's, I wish I could pick that ribbon up, but it looks so much more impressive now. Now you assume that the book was first place. Thunder, would you quiet down? 
Hello? Oh, this is creepy. Oh, man. It's getting very scary in here. Girl Scout. The band formerly known as Cub Scout. Set list. Role model authority. Main squeeze. Telling stories. Instruction. First mate. Alright. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. <laughs> But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. All right, so Lonnie was in Mexico. Who's sleeping down here? Oh, you. They're taunting me with them. Yeah, I bet, I bet you want me to put this in that tape layer, don't you? That's why you put it here. Shameless, shameless game. Oh, it's so bad. <sighs> Nobody should ever hear this again. Ooh. A legit map of our house. Have we found a kitchen yet? That's what's locked behind that door. So we got the dining room, a greenhouse... Laundry, washroom, kitchen, pantry. I totally forgot that most houses have a place for people to eat. Or make food. Oh, okay, not reading any more of that. I didn't read enough of it to... Nope! <laughs> she won't do it. I know. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna. Definitely not reading any more of that. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't see what was so bad about it. <laughs> Man, Sam is the most careless person in the world with all of her little hints about her life. She's probably gonna need this receipt later. Eighty bucks. Kid's got some scratch. Scratch? Who? Who calls it scratch? Did I just become? 85 years old again I'm not even gonna care that I hear some weird noise to my left doesn't it doesn't phase me at all wish you were here oh wait you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop ha <laughs> Lonnie you're hilarious they tell you to stick with the group on field trips Katie there's a reason for that Oh, that's Lonnie and I snuck off me? on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. Pharmacy. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. Uh. But I don't think they know, no about us. I know how that goes. School, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. A lot of newspapers. Now the parents are going to blame Lonnie for everything. I really like it when games do this. It's a... I can't remember what exactly they call it. I think it's implied storytelling. They leave something without telling you exactly what happened... They leave it set just right so that you can infer. Uh, obviously, Sam was down here messing around. This was originally up against the wall there, and she moved it and found a passageway. I think it's a really good, uh, clever way to use storytelling. What we got up here? 
The further into areas that we get where I don't feel like normal people would be, I get a little more suspicious that the game is going to do something to mess with us. Oh, no, no, we've been here. I guess I was just turned around. Have we? Is this, uh... Oh, this, this is a different one. Because the light works. What did I call it earlier? Another uh, another walkthrough? <laughs> it's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage, just so loud and real. Awesome. Everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past. Because I guess they haven't heard a peripheral. Costumes, skeletons, and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. It was like she just loaded a shotgun full of a bunch of words, shot it at the wall, scraped them off, and handed them to me as if she was telling me a part of a story. I don't know what any of that was supposed to be. <laughs> All right, what we got? Mm, time and effort and writing this letter showed initiative and well written. Doesn't change my mind on the matter. She defaced school property with profanity. In fact, she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to hers. Is immater in, uh, same to yours is immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention to yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. That seems like really poor management of the school. I don't or get Mommy sometimes. Like slobs. her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority girl justice JRTC, now and she's doing drills in perfect formation following orders no question and there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask don't tell like she's going to join the army and then have to lie about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know like it was no big deal this from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh, that is so weird. All right. The guardian angels up above. Bless this house with lots of love. That's cute. Why exactly were we locked out of the kitchen area, by the way? Like, <laughs> our parents knew that we were coming home. I don't know where they went, but they definitely wanted to make sure that we didn't get anything out of the fridge. Oh, we found the dining room. Uh, she got a detention. Disturbing inappropriate materials. Distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. Phone call to students' parents. Out of school suspension for four days. It's a vacation. Grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges. From using your car for any time except going, anything except for going to to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind. of behavior at school and clearly once your privileges are reinstated you can't allow we can't allow you to m have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house this is the last word of the matter get back on course so this won't have to happen again straighten out and fly right I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight one you were never gonna need to have I mean You've known, right? I've known. <laughs> I've known since, like, She-Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. 
But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Well, I guess we now know why Sam left that message about how she can't be controlled and she's an adult and all that good stuff. I guess they're implying that they forbid the relationship? I mean, it was the 90s. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. So, when Lonnie went to the army, it was apparently something that Sam didn't like, but it was always a part of her life, part of her dad's life, obviously coming from a military family. Oh, great, more nondescript, identical houseplants. Hey. Final preparations are complete. For what? Secret door that goes under the stairs. So... I, I think I was over there looking already. We our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. Nice. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. That should have exploded everywhere. Huge mess. Oh, an unopened bottle of pop. Hilarious. Oh, it's gonna be all melted. It's tough Daniel to- finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends. <laughs> how much it doesn't belong in there. But instead, I told him about school, and dad, oh. and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. That is a nice bike. A long weekend celebrated anniversary. Be camping in the gorge, but we'll give you a call. On the way home. Sorry, the kitchen. $40 on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. You little brat. 
I mean, I feel like the trash is just somewhere that they would put something important. Oh, she quit her job. See? Trash was important. Can we microwave the ice cream now? No? Oh. Okay, cool. So that's unlocked now. It is said that the parents are so mean to Sam, being that they just don't really care. This is probably like the hardest thing she's ever gone through in her young life. It's just a breakup to some, but it's probably her first breakup. Ooh. So yeah. The most in love she's ever been. They're like, eh, no. That's not cool. Who's this guy? Is that like their principal or something? Oscar. Okay. Oh, they're trying to bring Oscar back because he's the dead guy. The uncle, right? Got the attic key. Oh, and on off, on open pop. The sunset light in this <sighs> house. So many of those. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Would it have been so hard just to make them empty and sleep. open? When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Well, at least we know where we're going. Right to the attic. It's funny how much Sam's character has changed throughout the game. When I first started playing, I just assumed that she was just an angsty teen. And now I legitimately care about her story. What if she's up here? I mean, she left though, right? I think we saw something that said that she was leaving. There's nothing anybody could do to stop her. As far as addicts go, it could be a lot worse. I don't think I'd hang out up here, but, you know, it could be worse. Is that for film? Alkaline fixer? Gee, I wish I had more information about that so I could tell you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's for film. Yeah, developing pictures. Aw. For kids, they're actually really intelligent artistic photographers. I think I just ruined all... Oh, no, it's a red light. That's okay for film. When I was a kid, when I was like 12 years old, I legit asked my mom if I could have a developer room so I could start doing this with pictures. I thought I was going to be a photographer for a while. Now I take great selfies. All the time, man. Oh, uh, that'd be a weird thing to develop. <laughs> Just developing selfies of your own face. <laughs> wow, there's so much leading up to this. Do not read if Katie, you're not Katie. I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam.
that is not how I thought that was going to end. 